Snow White was sitting at the window when the disguised queen Oscar. Would you like an apple? No, thank you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I am reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now let's start. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Long ago, a king and his queen were blessed with a lovely little girl. She was as white as snow. Her cheeks were red as blood and her hair wore was as black as ebony. Let's call her Snow White, said the king. However, soon something sad happened. The queen died. Years went by. The king married again. The new queen was pretty but very proud. She had a magic mirror whom she often asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Each time the mirror replied, You are the fairest, my queen. Meanwhile, Snow White was growing up. One day, as, as the queen asked the mirror, her usual question, it replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. The queen was filled with jealousy. Jealousy. She called a hunter and said, Take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The hunter took Snow White to a forest, but he could not kill her. Run away, princess. The queen wants to kill you, he said. Snow White was frightened. She ran on and on she, till she was very tired. Suddenly, Snow White saw a small cottage in the middle of the forest. I wonder who lives here, thought Snow White and entered the cottage. Inside, she saw... A small table with seven little plates on it. Oh, that's so cute. Snow White was hungry. She ate a little food from each plate. Then Snow White saw seven little beds in one corner. She fell asleep in one of them. This cottage belonged to seven dwarfs who worked in the mountains. That evening, when they returned home, they found that someone had tasted the food on their plates. Ha ha ha! Suddenly, a dwarf cried, Who is sleeping in my bed? Hearing the cry, Snow White woke up. Child, how did you come here? Asked the eldest dwarf. So Snow White told them her st sad story. Stay with us, said the dwarfs. Meanwhile, the queen's mirror stole that told her that Snow White was alive and living with the dwarfs. The queen was angry. She made a poisonous apple. Oh no, I wonder what happened. Then she disguised herself as a pleasant woman and went to the dwarf's cottage. She knew that the dwarfs have had left for their work. Snow White was sitting at the window when the disguised queen Oscar. Would you like an apple? No, thank you, said Snow White. Then the queen cut the apple in two and ate half of it. Look, it is so juicy, she said. 
actually only the half of the apple was poisoned the queen had eaten the part which was not poisoned snow white was tempted tempted she accepted the apple and took bite of the poisonous half immediately she fell down dead when the dwarfs returned in the evening they found snow white lying lifeless filled with sadness the dwarfs cry for a long time then they put snow white inside a glass coffin and left it in the forest one day a prince came to the forest and saw snow white inside the coffin oh what a pretty girl said the prince i cannot leave her alone here he told his servants to take the coffin to his palace as they were staying so one of the servants stumbled the and the coffin fell down at once the poisonous apple came out of snow white's throat and she woke up the prince was delighted will you marry me fair lady he asked snow white agreed soon they were married the seven dwarfs came to the wedding and danced all night the prince and snow white lived happily ever after the end hope you like my video if you want me to read more stories like this one so type it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye